Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you all how to make yeast dinner rolls. Now this dinner roll is a no need dinner roll. So that's great. Anytime you can find a no need dinner roll, that's the recipe for you. Last time I needed some, some dough, I lost about 20 pounds. <laughs> Here's what you're going to need. First thing that you're going to need is two packages of your yeast, one fourth cup of granulated sugar, one and one third cup of lukewarm water or milk, four cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one large egg, and you will need five tablespoons of melted butter. Now, we're using our stand-up mixer today. <clears throat> I have my camera at a different angle than I usually have it at because I want to get down into this mixer. So my camera's up high right now. Um, okay, so the first thing that we want to do, I have four cups of flour in here. You'll also need these four cups of flour. Now, what we need to do is I have the one and one, th one, and one thirds cup of lukewarm water. We're going to add one teaspoon of sugar, okay? And that sugar is going to help to, let's, let's give it a little mix. That sugar is going to help to activate our yeast, okay? It kind of feeds off of the sugar, all right? Let's go ahead and add our two packages of yeast into this lukewarm water. And you want to make sure that your water's warm, but you do not want to have that water be hot. Because what will happen, if that water is hot, it will kill the yeast, and the yeast will never get active for you. Okay, so what you're looking for is for this yeast to get nice and frothy. What will happen is uh, it will start to activate, and it will give you like a real frothy look. Okay? So we're going to give that maybe a good 8 to 10 minutes and it'll start frothing up, okay? Let me get all of that yeast off of my rubber spatula so it can go down into here. Okay, great. We'll just set that aside. <clears throat> okay, now we have our four cups of flour. We're going to go ahead into our flour. We're going to add a teaspoon of salt, just like so. We're going to add one fourths cup of white granulated sugar, just like so. Okay, and then we're going to add one large egg right on in there. Okay, now what we need to do, let's go ahead and turn this mixture, <clears throat> our beater on. All right, I'm going to turn it on slow. So let's start it off on a very slow mixing up, okay? Meanwhile, our yeast, if you can see down in there, is starting to froth up, but it's not ready yet, okay? All right, just mix this just a little bit. Let me stop that. All right. What I want to do is I want to scrape down my sides because I want to make sure that all of my ingredients get nice and mixed in. I'm so excited about this dinner roll, guys. Now, my grandmother, my grandma Seward, she used to make a yeast roll. And she would make it for Christmas and she would make it for Thanksgiving. And it was like the best. It was to die for rolls, right? So I told myself... After my grandmother couldn't make them anymore, I told myself that I'm going to learn how to make these. I'm going to make these a tradition in my house, and then I can pass them on to my family. Okay, I'm going to turn this back on for a second, guys. Just on low. Just like that, guys. Awesome. Awesome. And you don't have to turn it up on high, okay? There's no need to turn it up on high. Right now I'm getting that egg mixed in and that salt. <clears throat> okay. Okay, awesome. 
Let's turn this. Get that off of there. <clears throat> now, here's the yeast. Look at this, guys. You see that froth? See how frothy that is? That's what we're looking for. So now we're going to go ahead and add our yeast mixture. And take your rubber spatula and get all of that goodness out of there, guys. Get all of that yeast and that warm water out of there. We need all of it. Okay? Just like this. Now let's mix this. Turn it on. Just a low speed is fine. Okay, so now, um, yeah, you'll see it to start getting a little clumpy, which is just what you're wanting. Now we're going to add the melted, the five tablespoons of melted butter. And you can add it while your mixture is going. Get it all in there. And now this is going to be a sticky dough, guys. It's going to be sticky, okay? You know, there's some doughs that are really dry, and then there's some... Let me turn this off for a second, guys. And then there's some doughs that are, are really dry. What I need to do, let me get all of this out of, the, out of here. And then I'm going to change to the hook. Okay, I'm going to take this off the whisk and turn into my hook. Give me just a second. Because... I want to use the hook because what I want to happen with this dough is I want to see when this dough forms a ball, okay? And it's easy to show when you're using the hook attachment, okay? So let's scrape all of this goodness off just like this, guys. This yeast smells so good. A lot of people are intimidated when, when you know, when you say, uh, you know, make a yeast dough. But guess what? It's so easy. It's so simple. Like, it's hassle-free. It's mistake-free. You cannot mess it up. Okay, let's get this off. Just like that, guys. Let's go ahead and put our, put our hook on here. Our dough hook. All right, are you on there? Yes? All right. Now... We'll turn this on and when our dough turns into a ball that dough is ready guys okay now let's turn it on slow and we'll see the dough form into a ball it'll start to hook onto that connect onto that hook and pull off of the sides that's just what you're wanting awesome it's doing exactly what we want it to do, guys. Okay, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Not too high, but just a little. There we go. Because I need to beat down into there because I've seen some flour that hasn't been mixed up. So I turned it up just a little. There we go. Awesome. Let's let it go for a little bit longer. What better way to make a yeast dinner roll? And you don't have to knead it, guys. This is awesome. And yet, it's going to be so fluffy, so light and so fluffy. Beautiful. Okay, now if you can look down in here, you see that all of that dough is connected to this hook. That right there, that's what you're wanting. That means you've done something right. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this off. Okay, take a look at it, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let me get my bowl, everyone. Okay, and what I need to do over here, I'm gonna grease my bowl. I have, I have this bowl here. I'm just gonna grease it up well because we're going to put our dough down into here, okay? And this is what our dough is going to rise in, all right? Don't put too much oil, just enough oil to coat it, okay? All right, there's my bowl. Let me wipe my hands off, guys. I'll be right back. The smell of yeast, guys. The smell of this beautiful dough is to die for. I wish I had like a... A air freshener, <laughs> a 
an air freshener of yeast dough. That would be kind of weird. <laughs> that, I admit, that would be kind of weird. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of flour. Just a little bit of flour, guys. And when I tell you a little bit, just a little tiny bit, we're gonna put it here on this counter. I'm gonna go ahead, let's see if I can get this. There we go, awesome. Let's get this dough out of here, everyone. Okay. And I'm gonna set that dough right there on that flour. Okay. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn my dough onto this flour just a few times, no kneading, guys, no kneading at all. I just wanna get it to the point where it's not, let me get a little bit more flour where it's not too, 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 too sticky, okay? And that's it, guys. This is our dough. How simple. All right, dust that extra flour off. This feels so great, guys. Oh, this could be therapy. It's so soft and so beautiful. Check this out, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now we're going to put our dough into this greased bowl okay now i flipped it over and now what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and wet this tea towel tea towel kitchen towel whatever you want to call it i'm going to wet it with nice warm water i'm going to wring it out very well and we're going to set this dough in the oven the oven is not turned on the oven has not been preheated i'm just going to put it in the oven to protect it from any drafts or any cold air that might come into the kitchen okay so now what i'm doing is i'm wetting my tea towel i'm wringing it out nice and well okay because we don't want any water from this tea towel to go into our dough so wring it out well, and then you lay it right on top of this beautiful dough. Then we're gonna put our dough in the oven and we're gonna let it rise for about an hour. Okay? Just like this, guys. All right, that's a nice warm towel, guys. Let's get this in the oven so that it can rise. And then in an hour, We'll be back to check on our dough. I'll see you when I come back, guys. Okay, everyone, we're back. Our dough has risen in the oven. Cold oven. The oven was not preheated or anything like that, and our dough should have rised. Let's go ahead and look at this together. Oh, wow, beautiful. That's what we're wanting, guys. Now, what you need to do is you wanna punch it a few times just like this, and what that does is it releases air bubbles, okay? That's enough right there, maybe one more, okay? Now my counter is impeccably clean. I've cleaned my counters very well. We're going to pick this, or take this out of our grease bowl, all right? And it feels so beautiful, guys. Let me zoom in. It feels just like a baby's bottom. It is so beautiful, therapeutic, guys. This is so soft and it smells so good. All right, now, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to, right here, I have a, cook, uh, a cake pan. All right, now I've put aluminum foil in here and I've greased it on the sides and everything. And right here on my sides, I've left extra because what we're gonna do, when we take our rolls out, all we need to do is grab these sides and just pull the aluminum foil off and our rolls will come out with it very simply and easily. All right, here's what we're gonna do, everyone. I don't know why I keep smacking that. <laughs> it's like, I, I feel like I need to smack it. <laughs> all right, here's what we're gonna do. And try to make them the same size. It might not be easy to make them all the same size unless you're using like an ice cream scoop or something i'm just going to kind of eyeball it and now what i'm doing is i'm gathering gathering everything so they can be nice and smooth bring it to the bottom and kind of twist it and push it in okay 
and I'll do that again. And then, let's see, let me see, do you guys have, can you see my, let's see. Okay, now you can see my baking dish and start putting them in just like so. Hold on one second, guys. I'm gonna get, I need to get a lid to cover this rice. I'm making white rice. Okay, all right, so just pinch some off, just like so, and see how it's all over the place? And then just gather those parts in. Gather those parts in just like this, all right? Maybe twist them if you want, and just push it in, okay? And you have a nice smooth ball, just like so. Try your best to make them the same size, and we'll put them in here. Now, with this dough, what's great about this dough, guys, is this dough does not have to rise again. If you put this in the oven right away as soon as you're done, okay? But, or, <clears throat> you can rise it again. Now, I'm going to rise it again, okay? So, after I get these in here, all right, see that, guys? After I get these in here, I'm gonna set them back in the oven to rise one more time. But like I said, you do not, and I know I'm repeating myself, you do not have to rise these for a second time. As long as you put them directly in the oven as soon as you're done, you know, uh, forming these balls. Okay, all right, so see that? Just kinda twist it, push it in. You got a beautiful ball, okay, just like so. I'm not sure exactly how many this will make, <clears throat> but we'll just see as we go, okay? Look at this dough, guys. It's just beautiful, just perfect. And this is gonna make the most tasty yeast roll that you've ever had. We're gonna call these rolls Grandma Seward rolls <laughs> because I've never tasted such a beautiful roll than my Grandma Seward's rolls. <clears throat> this recipe I hope that this recipe hold on guys <laughs> I hope that this recipe blesses you all and your family and you can make this um, a tradition in your family okay just do this twist it push it beautiful balls just like so Okay, now what I'll do, I want to put my video on pause while I continue to fill the rest of the pan up, okay? And then as soon as it's done, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, everyone, let me show you what I have. I didn't have enough room in my baking pan over there, so I have another little pan. I just put the last two in there. And make sure you uh, butter or oil your pan, or, you know, if you use aluminum foil like me, Go ahead and butter or oil it. Now, what I'm gonna do, well, 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 just put it this way. If you wanna go ahead and throw them in the oven, you throw them in right now. But if not, and you wanna do like me, you can throw them in the oven. Make sure your oven is not on, okay? We're gonna do it the same way like we did earlier. And we're gonna cover it with our tea towel, okay? Your kitchen towel. And we're gonna throw it back in the oven for about 35 minutes and let these rise one more time. Okay, let me show you. Here's what we got, guys. Look at that. That's quite a bit. We're gonna go ahead and cover these up. Just like this, guys, no fuss. Just cover it up, we're gonna throw those in the oven. And I gotta scoop my camera back, guys. Give me just a second, sorry. We're gonna put these in the oven and let them rise one more time and I'll be back. Okay, okay guys, let me just show you our yeast rolls and they're rising in there. Like I said, about 35 minutes. You know, I have the other one that has two in them at the bottom and I'll come back when they're risen. Okay everyone, I'm back. It's only been 35 minutes. Now look at this guys. What a difference. See that? Now I have my oven heating up on 400 degrees. We're going to cook our yeast rolls at 400 degrees for 20 to 22 minutes. No longer, okay? Let this oven heat up and I'll be back, guys. Okay, everyone, what we're gonna do while our oven is heating up, my oven will beep for me when it's preheated to what I need it to do. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some melted butter onto my rolls. 
not a not, not a lot just a little just a little tad bit just like so okay all right because we're going to butter these rolls again when they come out okay look at this guys i am super 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 excited about this my mouth is watering i'm thinking of all the memories of when i went to chillicothe to visit my grandma seward and she would be having maybe christmas or thanksgiving dinner and all i could think about was getting to these yeast rolls guys and i also also one more thing that i wanted was i wanted my grandma scalloped corn you talking about good guys all i needed was these rolls in the sickest in the scallop corn and i was set i was so happy <laughs> and then there's so many foods that my grandmother was such a good cook so many other foods that she made that was just to die for guys okay here's this oh my grandma had a, a dog too i don't know what kind of dog that was guys he was white and he was fluffy. He was beautiful, but he scared the crap out of me. Every time I went, guys, I was so, so, so scared of this little dog. I think, I want to say his name was Taffy. I could be wrong, but I was scared of that little sucker. And every time I got there, he would bark. And I'm thinking like, really? <laughs> this little teeny dog is scaring me. He scared me half to death, guys. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have my oven is telling me I have six more minutes. And my oven will be preheated. And then we'll put these in the oven and I'll be back. Okay, everyone, my oven is pre preheated. I'm sorry. And we're going to go ahead and throw these in 420 to 22 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, guys, our yeast rolls have came out of the oven. They cook for 20 minutes. Now we're gonna put on some butter, guys. And you know what? Remember those two that I had in a pan? One of them's gone already, guys. I could not help myself. I had to. I just had to, and it is so good. I didn't even put butter on it, guys. It was so delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. -hmm. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this one this here mm -mm. this takes me back guys how beautiful the smell in my house it smells so good mm -mm 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 -mm. let's turn these bad boys over so I can reach the other side get that beautiful butter on there guys now, if you wanted to, you could make a, um, a honey butter just by using butter, a few tablespoons of butter, some honey, and maybe like two teaspoons of powdered sugar. But I'm telling you guys, this doesn't need anything but this butter. It's delicious to die for. I'm so glad I could share this recipe with you all. In a few minutes, I'm going to come back. And I want to give it about five minutes, and then I'll take these out and, and try them and let you know what they taste like. Be back. Let me zoom in, guys, so you can see that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, beautiful. Okay, guys, it's been five minutes. Let's go ahead and take these rolls out. I'm going to show you just how quick and easy these will come out of the pan just by using the aluminum foil and hanging it off the side. Okay, this should work very simply, just like this. Look at that, guys. Now that, that's what we're looking for. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> so simple, guys. And one thing I didn't tell you guys, seriously, one thing I did not tell you is that you do not have to use a stand-up mixer for this. You don't have to use a handheld mixer for this, guys. You can mix this up by hand with no problem. And these will, and they'll turn out the same way, guys. Just follow this recipe to the T, and they will turn out for you, guys. Now, let me show you something. Let me show you something. They should be very easy to pull apart. Guys, oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look how, look how they stand tall. Look at that. Look at this. Don't they stand so tall and they're so beautiful and yet so fluffy, guys. Seriously, check it out. Look at the bottom. Beautiful. Beautiful. This here is what I call a yeast roll. Okay? Let me show you one more, okay? We'll pull apart one more. And like I said, they should pull apart with no problem. Isn't that something? Isn't this something, guys? Oh, man. And now for the taste tester. All right. I'm going to slather me just a tiny bit more butter. Look, guys. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I'm going in. I cannot take this. Mmm. Oh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. There is no... No better yeast roll out there, guys. This one here, this is the one you want. This is the one you want for your holidays, for your Sunday dinner. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm. And it's not too sweet, but it has a little hint of that sugar. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. That fresh yeast, guys, amazing. And like I said, guys, you can also use milk if you, if you didn't want to use the water, okay? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you all enjoyed this recipe, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel and tell your family and friends to subscribe. And as always, have a good night. God bless. And thank you so much for watching.